What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do an on the water review with the Hobie Lynx. We're gonna get out there, try to catch some summer smallmouth. The best way I can explain the Hobie Lynx is it's basically like a kayak and paddleboard hybrid. You sit on top, your steering is gonna be controlled by a rudder. You can mount this on either side of the seat. So as you turn this, it's gonna affect this cable right here. Come around to the back side. These ridges basically go right into the inserts. And to get this down, all you have to do is pull the string from up here and pull it down. Same as going up. The retail is $32.99. Hobie's gonna sell this demo model for $2,800. So send me a DM on Facebook, Instagram, if you're interested. These wheels are mine, highly recommend it, even though you really don't need it. This thing weighs 40 pounds. So you mount your paddle here, and it's on there. You can add on this drink holder. It's adjustable for any size. Put big daddy in there, you know? And then we're gonna go ahead and mount on the crate system. You can just latch it like this. This is the pedal drive system. It's a Mirage pickup. So here she is all rigged up for you guys. Let's do a full walk around. Move the handle in the front, bungees. You have two track systems, foam floor mat, so you can keep your traction and also it kind of dampens the sound. I added this cup holder here. It comes with a paddle and a paddle mount. It comes with the seat itself. Bungees in the back. You have some handles on the sides and then another handle right here in the back. The only letdown of this thing is storage, but if that's not your concern, if you want lightweight, open space, it's really, really stable. We're going after some small mouth. We have a chatter bait, black and blue. Jerk bait, this guy goes about five feet down. I was thinking about a jig for this, but I'm gonna do a swing head instead. And of course, top water. I have a tackle box for plan B. Do you mind if I launch right there? Thank you. I tried going further down, but it was just too steep. Huh? Yeah. I stay strapped. Have a go, man. We are in inches of water. I like to get out a little deeper before I put the drive in. I can feel the chiggers already filming that intro in the grass and now now we're cooking so i need you to know what lengths i go through for you guys uh you were just on the chest mount i'm just like hey morning so hands free the only thing you have to do every now and then is just adjust the steering first cast Got that bad luck cast out of the way. I'm throwing this Rico popper. It's a really good smallmouth bait. Throwing it on monofilament line because the line itself floats. I got Ducket Zeus 6.8 medium heavy. And this is an Abu Garcia Walmart reel. Typically in the river, I don't go over, you know, a, a seven foot rod. Things get dicey under the branches. Just wanna hit this little shaded pocket and then we're gonna start moving down the river because we have a lot of ground to cover and not a lot of time to do it. Look, if I didn't have this head mount on, you guys would be looking this way the whole time, just looking at a rod. All right, no love on the top water, so we're gonna go ahead and throw a little chatter bait. Black and blue. This is on Ducket Zeus medium cranking rod. The hull slap, ooh, almost got hung up. The hull slap on this is a little louder than the Outback. But again, that's what you get when you have a flatter surface. I'm hung up on something. Oh, look, skydivers. <laughs> With pedal drive, it's a little easier to retrieve your baits and whatnot because you can have one hand on steering. Oh, I feel it. It's stuck on line. No, that's the worst. Okay. Got it. Oh, geez, that was stressful. Oh, I see some bait fish skipping up here. Your boy needs to catch a fish. Golly, it smoked it. Yeah, it's a decent. Oh, I didn't get the net out. We're gonna lip it. Man, these things are feisty. Yeah, she's a decent. Come here. 
Come here, girl. Yeah. Let's go, man. Jack that thing. That's a good fish. It's probably like a 16, I'd say. Maybe 17. Fat. She's been chewing. Let's get her back. I almost dropped my rod. For sure, gonna throw this jackhammer. I am so glad that we got this out, guys. <laughs> when that got snagged and I saw this water clarity, instantly all hope is lost when it comes to pedal drive it doesn't matter if it's a old town hobie whatever it may be you can just bounce around hold yourself up there i'm just trying to get up here in this nook i bet you mine was right in that little spillway area i wonder if there's another one get a fresh knot back on this i feel like we have a really good pattern to work with here guys the water's hot current is the coolest place on this river it's also the place that holds the most oxygen so Got one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. She's beefy. I'm going to get out of this area because I think there could be at least one more. And, uh, oh, <laughs> let's get this girl landed. Dude, this is like, I'm legit trying to get it in right now. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't know it was that good. <laughs> I know you guys saw the thumbnail. I should have used this one, but I used that smaller guy. Dude, look how big that thing is. Let's get a weight. All right. Anybody catch that? Was it three, four, seven? Look at that. It's almost top water time. Honestly, I bet you we could. Ah, I don't want to put the jackhammer down. It's just catching some quality right now. I'm probably not going to catch anything in the slack water, but we're on our way down the river. I'm sure we'll find some more current seams. There's bait. I saw some bait skip. Oh, there are fish here. Oh, no way! <laughs> no way, dude! This is crazy! Oh my gosh! I am a little schoolgirl right now. <laughs> the jackhammer, dude. You you felt the hook. Oh, don't break my don't break my rod. Don't break my rod. Don't break my rod. I smell like a smallmouth bass. I am so happy. Come here. Oh, that was crazy. He just slapped me. High five, bud. Give me, mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't even want to go home. <laughs> Guys, we just might be out here all night. This keeps up. I mean, he choked it. Look at this. I mean, quadruple stapled. Whew, that was fun. I lost your mom, didn't get a pick with her. So, oh, I'll probably, uh, <clears throat> probably take the, uh, yeah. All right, that was fun. We're back here at Strictly Sale. What we're gonna be doing is trading in the Lynx and trying out the Autopilot. This is the Old Town 136 Autopilot. You have the Minn Kota with spot lock, a remote control right here at your fingertips. We'll get into more details on the next video. We have a lot of fish to catch, so stay tuned.